You're watching the Action 9 New Hotness News at 9. With your anchors, Nut Saxon. And Virginia Boucher. And now, here's the news. We're on. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Nut Saxon. And I'm Virginia Boucher. And this is the Action 9 New Hotness News at 9. Coming up this hour, crotch rot. A surprising trend that's sweeping the nation. I know I'm a fan. Oh, aren't we all? And later on, Action 9 correspondent Rod Morningwood explores the darker side of ladder theft. But first, we turn now to our Rough Rider weather report with meteorologist DMX. X gon' give it to you, he gon' give it to you, X gon' give it to you, he gon' give it to you, uh, uh, uh. What the deal, yo, your forecast for the day is coming down hard. It's raining snakes, rats, cats, and dogs. Hey, yo, the heavy rainfall has left floods in Kansas. The locals praying for God, but nobody answers. They got inches, bitches. So get your umbrella or a life jacket, faggot. Don't say I didn't tell you. I'm moving to the east now where it's hot and dry. Where niggas who step outside is them niggas is gonna die. Unless you dress loose and just stay hydrated. I know some niggas that didn't and they didn't make it. So listen to me, X, because I don't give a fuck. That's it for the weather. Back to you, nut. We're back. Uh, th uh, thanks, X. Uh, how's next week looking? All I see is rain. <laughs> What the deal? Well, uh, bling bling, my nigga. We turn now to correspondent Rod Morningwood with a very special report about a form of theft that goes largely unchallenged in this country. Vagina? Thank you, Nut. Spark snatching, cricket popping, flicking the bick. These are just some of the slang terms on the streets for a new rash of hate crime that's sweeping this nation. Correspondent Rod Morningwood has more. Nothing will stand in the way of the lighter thief. So if I'm understanding this correctly, and I think I am, what you're saying is if I sleep with two chicks who then sleep with each other, then they cancel each other out. Okay, all right. When they sizzle each other, it's like a double-edged plunger sucking out all the dick. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you can say you slept with either one of those girls again is to talk them into a three-way. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Hey, does that mean if you have sex with a regular-sized chick and a midget at the same time, it's like a two-and-a-half way? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one time a midget sat on my face. She smelled like pears, huh? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Dude, crazy, man. Oh, shit. Where'd you get this guy? Uh, I thought I was your boy, man. <laughs> I live on the street. Found the weed. <laughs> oh. oh, you Crayola apricot motherfuckers. Which one of y'all took my lighter? That'd have been one of y'all. Oh, look at me, man. I passed it. Who has it? Hey, man, you got a spider in your face. Ah! Who is the lighter thief? He may be someone you know, someone very close to you. Why, he may even be your best friend. Who is he? What goes on in the mind of this degenerate usurper? Why are his testicles bigger in the earlier part of the week, but shrink to a third of their regular size come Sunday? We went to renowned social pothead theorist, Dr. Gunther Kraus von Krausenkrauter, to find out more. You see, it is very difficult to discern what is in the mind of the light of the thief. A complicated co-mingling of consequences versus reward. The Pavlonian theory of classical conditioning through repeated negatively reinforced behaviors. And added to that is the addition of adding of extra factors on top of everything else is the effects of the Mary Jane of the Dauphine mind. These components coagulate to create what we in the medical field often refer to as compulsive incendiary filching lighter syndrome or syphilis. You, you're seriously going to call the disorder syphilis? Why does everyone keep asking me that? No reason. Rock on. Ah! Swarm over bitches at it again! Yeah, so now my entire place smells like carrots and burnt fur. Mm. That is rough, man. I don't think an exorcist could get that out. <laughs> mm. It's bad. Stinky. Terrorists make you see in the dark, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's twice! <laughs> Two times! He never misses! <laughs> oh, man. 
In an attempt to understand the pathology of this fascinating social deviant, we have attempted to recreate the possible thought pattern of the lighter thief in action. I wonder what Scarlett Johansson's tits would look like if I covered them in peanut butter and jelly. Good, I bet. I could sure go for a PB&J set of titties right about now. I think I'm going to start jerking off with my left hand for a while. See if it affects my time. God, I hate Paris Hilton. I wonder if this itching is normal. No, it definitely isn't. I don't care what any of these guys think. Dirty Dancing is a good movie. I think I'd make a good dancer. I like how I look in tights. I wonder if that makes me gay. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes nothing like regular Dr. Pepper. I wonder if anyone would care if I just murdered all these motherfuckers. Hmm. George Bush fucking. Ann Coulter in a pit fight. Carl Rove playing Grand Theft Auto. I really need to start voting. I'm gonna steal that fucking lighter. Fascinating! Did you know that over one billion lighters are stolen by assholes from stoned friends each year in America? It will soon surpass talking on a cell phone in line at the gas station as the most common dick move perpetrated in this country. In fact, statistics show that over 30,000 Americans will hulk out due to lighter theft before the end of the year. The lighter thief. Do you know him? Does he know you? Ask yourself. Is he a friend, a family member, yourself? Does the smell of carrots and burnt fur really never come out? I'm Rod Morningwood, and this has been a special report. All right, the safe word, crotch rot. You're back! Uh, fascinating story, Vagina. I mean, uh, Vagina. You said it, Nut. Uh, coming up next on Action 9, you see them in parks, pet stores, and getting digested whole by your weirdo college roommate's pet boa constrictor. <laughs> but are rodents plotting against you and your family? You'll find out after these words from our sponsors. Hey, yo, your forecast for today is coming down hard. It's raining snakes, rats, and cats and dogs. So if you shit. <laughs> Damn it, my chain bro. It's cheap. Chain, bro. Damn, dude. It's cheap. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Rolling. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Sound rolling. <laughs> My daughter taught me how to dance on New Year's Eve. I love to dance. When I dance, it is the fire that comes from my shoes. I dig a groove into the ground. This nuclear war on the dance floor. I, split, I spread plagues with my dance, my beautiful dance. Can you imagine a dance like this? You cannot imagine a dance like this. I dance like this. I go like this. And the women, they women have fallen to their knees and they say, thank you. Thank you for showing us this dance. And they start humping the air. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a goddamn beautiful thing.